Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 30, and this is war number 8. And looks like we're going up against an alliance called The Swamp. Alright, let's go on in here and spectate. Let's check and see what we got going on. Some folks are already in. I'm a little bit late with all the uh, fun of Cyber Weekend. Uh, I actually almost forgot. Uh, about this war. Uh, but anyway, they didn't put a defender on that first node. Then we've got Iron Man Infinity War uh, for this next node. Uh, I can bring in Magneto for him or Corvus. Uh, and I'll probably bring Corvus. That's two charges right there. We've got Nick Fury. I can bring Warlock for that fight. Um could also bring uh, Nick Fury for that fight, but I'm thinking of leaving Nick Fury out if I'm going to bring Corvus. And Warlock should be able to handle that fight. And I won't mess with the middle. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see how I feel when I get there. Uh, and then we've got Kingpin... Uh, don't really have a good counter, but Corvus can do that fight, uh, boost it up and all that good stuff. Uh, then in section two, we've got Guardian, that's Corvus. Uh, we've got Longshot, again, that uh, can be taken by Corvus. And then we've got King uh, Killmonger. And normally I take Corvus, but the last time I tried that, didn't go so well, uh, kind of messed up, and Warlock did a great job. So uh, if I have to take that fight again, I'll probably want to use Warlock. Um, hmm. Trying to think here. Looking over Mini Boss Island, uh, Claire can do some of these fights as well, but I'm I'm thinking of swapping her out for Corvus and using. Nick Fury uh, to take that Nick Fury boss. That might be a plan. We've got Mysterio. Uh, Corvus normally can do that fight, but that's a rage node, so that would be very annoying. Um, Claire would be better for that. We've got um, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Honestly... Corvus can do that fight. If I brought Claire, she could do that fight. Warlock could do that fight. Uh, I wouldn't want to bring Nick Fury against him, but he could do it. Just wouldn't be a great counter. And Dragon Man, I will not touch. Uh, need to have somebody that has good uh, power control, I think. Um, Torch, maybe, uh, could do that fight. But yeah, I would, I would say someone with good power control. Uh, down at the bottom here, we've got King Groot. Um, we've got Bishop, and we've got Domino. And normally, uh, even here, the backup will come in and boost up one good time, bring counters for them, and go right for the boss. Uh, or they may go up the left side. So we may not need to worry about those. Domino can be taken with uh, my Warlock. Bishop, it would be Warlock that I would want to fight him with, but if I can avoid that, I will. Um, but it would only be Warlock I'd want to take up against him. And uh, that King Groot, so I don't really have a... a Great counter for it. If I brought Claire, she could uh, do that fight. Maybe, yeah, safeguard. Maybe Warlock could do it as well. Not sure on that one. So I'd probably avoid that fight. So I'm looking at Iron Man Infinity War, Nick Fury, maybe Kingpin, Guardian, long shot, and that Killmonger, and whoever I can take here. Um, 
Cosmic Ghost Rider, Domino, uh, even that Mysterio uh, could possibly be uh, champs I could take. So yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking Corvus, Nick Fury, and Warlock will actually leave uh, Claire out for uh, this war. Because I can take all of these fights without her. And I think Nick Fury, I like Nick Fury for the uh, safety net of fighting that Nick Fury uh, mini right there. All right, so we'll be back uh, with the fighting. So I'm going in with Nick Fury, Warlock, and a favorite, Corvus. Yes, Corvus is coming back to war. So you can see I have the six-star version of Corvus. That means that AQ is down right now, so I don't need uh, Corvus in AQ. Uh, AQ is still my main focus. With us starting to do map eight, uh, I have to reevaluate whether uh, Corvus is the best for my paths. Right now, um, he's doing just fine, but I might be able to do uh, even better with some other champions. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. So first fight is Iron Man Infinity War. I have not lost to an Iron Man Infinity War with Corvus. I can't remember when. All right. Ever since Iron Man Infinity War came out. Now... Um, if I do lose to a Iron Man Infinity War, uh, I do, okay, I do remember one time, I think it was Aggression, um, Fury. I think that was it. And the way that, of course, I had to fight him, uh, I basically got destroyed without getting hit. You know, I didn't take a single hit. I remember that fight. It was on a old, um, AQ map and went in there. And uh, he built up a lot of Furies and even just trying to block. I didn't do any kind of repairing or anything at the time. Uh, and so I was just getting destroyed. He built up tons of Furies and it was over very quickly. Okay. Um, but that happened so long ago. Uh, but in any case, this Iron Man Infinity War wasn't that one. So we took him down. Now, whenever I see uh, Nick Fury... I want to fight him with my own Nick Fury. Now, I only have the five star awakened. Um, I do have the six star. He's not awakened yet, but he is already ranked three. And one of these days, I'm going to get him awakened, and then you'll start seeing him uh, in war. But the reason that I like to do this is because I'm going to have to fight Nick Fury. Uh, basically, I'm going to have to kill him uh, not exactly twice because you do have that degen. Uh, on his uh, second life. So you don't actually have to kill him twice. But you're still having to fight him through two different phases. And I like to have my own phases so that if I, like you see here, lose my life, then I won't just die. If I'm with somebody else and I lose all of that health, I'm done, you know, but I have a little safety net. We didn't have the real Nick Fury come out. We held on. Um, I think, did we have the real Nick Fury? I can't remember. Um, but in any case, we have that little safety net and it works for us. That's why I love using Nick Fury in Alliance War. All right. So we got that uh, mini boss down. I went to bed, came back, got full energy again. So I went ahead and moved. Section two already opened. Um, they already cleared off uh, that little mini there. And look at this. I got somebody on my path. And I actually looked because um, they tagged me and they were asking if they should just go ahead and clear the path because the backup didn't wasn't needed anywhere else. And they just needed to clear, go to the boss and finish it. Uh, and so they were asking, should they wait for me to... Um, clear the path or should they go and since they tagged me i came in i said give me a second um i had just finished eating my breakfast and so i just jumped on in here uh to do the fight all right so guardian corvus we ain't worried about that done you know it's not like it was colossus if it was colossus 
I wouldn't be using uh, Corvus on that node. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to mess with that. But Guardian, down. Now, this fight can be very tricky. If you've seen people fight long shot, the fight can be over with a special. One special, one or two, the fight can be over. So you got to be very careful. Now, if you have someone that's incinerate immune, good. Use that. But here, I'm worried because my charges won't save me if I get hit with his special and I don't have enough health because it's going to knock me down. My glaive will be damaged and I'll die. Okay. But as you can see here, boom. And I did that and I was so mad because I expected that to finish him off. 1% health? Really? Really? 1% health. And I know you guys have experienced it, but apparently Kabam considers that an extra challenge because that should have killed him off. But instead I took recoil damage instead. Wasn't too pleased about that, but it is what it is. All right, so that's gonna be the last fight that I did for this war. And in a moment, we'll be back and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. And by just a little bit, this was an extremely close war. And we lost by the skin of our teeth. I believe that um, our diversity wasn't where it should have been. And we lost. But of course, it's a you know combination of things. The diversity, the deaths, all of that. So you know, we can't really point at just one thing that caused us to lose this particular war. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.